many people find it challenging to get a simulated robot to move a simulated model such as a bag or a box around the screen. Common thinking is, why not just move the part? Have the robot pick it up and move it to a different place. But what happens if your simulation fails during playback and that part is no longer in its original location? You're going to have to move it back manually. So instead, have copies at the pick location, the gripper, and the place location. For purposes of this demonstration, we're going to copy the pick location to the gripper. So we'll first make a copy and rename it. Next, we need to re-zero the copy so it overlaps the original part. So just change the values of the copy, the X, Y, Z, R, Y, R, X, and R, Z to all be zero. Now it's in place. Next, we're going to move the robot until it is placed over the pick location. Now right-click on the copy in the CAD tree and change its parent to be the robot's flange. So just expand out the robot model, go to its flange, and select OK. Now you can see that the copy is attached to the robot. Just by moving the robot up and down, we can see that the copy moves with it. Next, you need to create model scripts. So go to the Simulation tab and then select Model Script Manager. Here we have two simple scripts. We have a name and then the details. As you can see, it says C Grip Case, which is this copy, and Hide the Pick Case, the original. We also have Hiding the Open Gripper and Seeing the Closed Gripper. To create a script, double click in the workspace, select the part in the CAD tree, and select the operation from the drop down list. See, hide, access 6, and various other options. After saving your script, select run to test it and make sure it works correctly. We also have a reset script that will reset the models back to the original condition. So it's just the inverse. See the open gripper, see the pick case, hide the case for the gripper, and hide the closed gripper. You run that and you can see it change back. To create your own script list, just select add and give it a name. And select OK. To integrate the script into your job, either define an output that calls a script or just add a comment preferably after a timer. The comment would be at MDS colon. So select control comment and then type in MDS colon and then type in the script name that you have created. Now just insert this into the job after the timer. Playing back the sim, it looks like the robot is picking and moving the box, but in fact it is just hiding and showing another box, almost like magic.